I mean, one of the uh, fantastic bits about this project for me, and I guess for the, for the whole team, was the, we, were, we were given a brief, and the brief was that the piece had to connect with the community. It also had to have enough stature and you know, physical presence and really be an iconic sort of um, place marker for, for the new, this new massive development. Mark, sadly, who can't be here today, but he, he and I came up with these loose concepts which we shared with the client and then poor Rich had to spend, I forget, how many hours? It was around 700. 700 hours total, just start to taking a loose concept and turning it into a, uh, an engineering you know, pack. The whole wind testing stage, we had to, to test it to prove that it would withstand. They asked for, they gave us a, a force to put on this, on this thing that was equivalent to a 140 mile an hour wind speed yeah. with a factor of safety included in that. So it was well tested. It should be mentioned that the, the, one of the massive problems with the piece, or challenges I should say, uh, was that it had to be dismantleable and to be, had to be able to ship it. So you resolve that with some very clever engineering. Yeah, there, yeah, each rib bolts in either end, so it can all be dismantled yeah. and fit into a standard container. And that was where you guys came in. <laughs> I mean, from your point of view, the, 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 the difficulties the, or the challenge of it. No, the, the, the original concept was put to me by yourself and Richard at different times. And what we ended up doing in the end after Richard's 700 hours bore no relation whatsoever except for the outside parameters of the sale. Yeah. The, the engineering difficulties were tremendous and this is where me and Jeff as the fabricators take our hat off to Richard for the accuracy yeah. of those engineering decisions. They were to the millimetre. And I do remember there's a, a, a very inspiring architect called Mike Davies who took me to Terminal 5 at Heathrow and show, if you ever go to Terminal 5, have a look. There are knuckles and everything. It was about setting the, ang the wrist and then locking the knuckle. And you had to do it in a certain sequence as we, as we found out. If you tried to set those scallops before you'd actually offered it up, it would never have come together. But we did the right thing, I think, as starting small and ironed out the creases on the smallest of the three sails. And then by the time we hit the largest, which should have been the most time consuming and most difficult, etc., we had our playlist down pat, didn't we? We knew exactly yeah, so. where we were going, what we were doing. We had every confidence in the yeah. pieces we were picking up because we tested them on the small one and we knew they were going to work. We were so lucky. This job landed just as we finished our big new workshop with an overhead crane. I mean, without that, this would have been totally impossible. Well, it's like laying it down is, is fine to make it easy for us to, to weld up the bits. But of course, it's supposed to stand up in the air, so we've got to get angles correct. And, you know, one of the things there uh, Dave come up with is setting that RSJ. Mm. So that was set at the correct angle. And as Dave said, we've done the small one. And everything just seemed to float together um, and it did certainly make the job a pleasure yeah rather than a chore it, it was a really satisfying moment when it had been cause obviously all, all been in the flats whilst working on it then we put it up we measured between all the, the individual base plates and put it onto like the original drawing and we were like 10 mil out of at certain points and i mean it was such a pleasure towards the end to see something beautiful growing like that. It, it, I can't wait to do some. Yeah, yeah. No, it's a, it's a really striking piece. Yeah. And a lesson to be learned is if I can put a line on a bit of paper, I do need to think that it has to be made at the end of the day. <laughs> it was, <laughs> and then, <laughs> and then uh, yes. What do you mean it's going to be complicated? <laughs> anyway, thank you all very much for that. That was brilliant.